Hey everyone, it's Alexander, the real Mr. Robinson. Welcome to the channel. This is my review for Spiral from the Book of Saw. Don't exactly know what that subtitle means, but essentially this is another Saw movie. The ninth one if you want to be more specific. This movie follows a detective played by Chris Rock. He's part of a police force where its members are suddenly getting kidnapped and brutally murdered in a series of traps very similar to the Jigsaw killer John Kramer. And Chris Rock has to get to the bottom of these murders and try to stop the killer before things get really elevated and the killer decides to go after his father, played by Samuel L. Jackson, who was once part of the force that Chris Rock is now part of. I am a newcomer to the Saw movies. I've only seen one other movie prior to this one, and that was Saw 4. I don't remember that much about it. I don't remember liking it. The only reason I ever saw it was because I was in high school and I was friends with a girl and I wanted to try to take it to that extra level because she wanted to see the movie, I didn't, and uh, nothing came out of that really. But you know what, back in my days of high school when girls were dragging their boyfriends to go see Twilight, I think getting dragged to a Saw movie was a better deal. But anyway, that's the only Saw movie that I've seen, but I understand the basic idea of the series. The Jigsaw Killer pretty much kidnaps these people and puts them in traps because they don't appreciate life, they're very ungrateful, or they're just terrible people all around despite wanting to do good. And those traps are pretty much there to teach them lessons in which you can live but you have to sacrifice a body part of yours. And I think that's a pretty novel concept, but from what most fans have said about the Saw series, most of the movies just don't feel that special or innovative from one another. The only ones that people really talk about are the first, third, and sixth movies. And that's about it. So with this movie coming out, Spiral, I was genuinely surprised and also confused by it because the Saw movies are dirt cheap to make. That's why practically every year in the 2000s, they ruled Halloween. Like you had a Saw movie come out every Halloween up until 2010. And primarily they didn't have big name A-list actors in them. So with Chris Rock and Sam Jackson being in this movie, I wanted to see it more out of curiosity than actual excitement for a Saw movie because again, I only saw one and apparently people consider that fourth one to be the worst. Plus this was actually an idea that Chris Rock came up with. He's an executive producer on this movie as well and pretty much came to Lionsgate with the concept to make a new Saw movie which unfortunately didn't really work out because while I haven't seen all the other movies in their entirety, I have seen the kill counts on Dead Meat, so I got kind of a sense of what these Saw movies feel like, and this one feels very much like a Saw movie. It doesn't really feel like there's a lot of innovation. I mean, sure, you have Samuel Jackson and Chris Rock in it who are doing the best they can, but there's nothing about this movie that really screams new or inventive. Despite having two A-list actors in this movie, it is directed by the same director of Saws 2, 3, and 4, Darren Lynn Bowsman, and it's written by the writers of the last movie, Jigsaw from 2017, Josh Stolberg, and probably the writer with the coolest name ever, Peter Goldfinger. I'm not gonna say this writing and directing team automatically ruined this movie just because of their presence, but because they have worked on some of the previous movies, it just doesn't scream new blood. There's nothing fresh about this movie. It just feels like every other Saw movie that has come out. It looks more polished and clean than say, Saw 4, because again, that's the only one I've seen in its entirety. But other than that, it still has that green filter that makes it look like a Saw film. And it also has that weird MTV style editing where people are in traps and you're just like, wait, what is happening? Where it just does these weird awkward cuts and zooms back and forth. It's very distracting. And it also kind of dates the movie. Now what about Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson? Well, Chris Rock is fine. There are a lot of moments in this movie where there's comedy and I mean intentional comedy because there was nothing in this movie that really made me unintentionally laugh-ish. But the first time we're introduced to Chris Rock's character, he's talking about Forrest Gump, why there was never a sequel, how it's considered inappropriate to use the R word when talking about a person with special needs, it's just, it feels like I'm watching one of Chris Rock's stand-up bits, which he's great in his stand-up bits, but it doesn't really work well for this movie, considering that the tone is mostly serious. It's mostly a horror thriller, 
and these comedic moments just don't really work. Eh? As for Sam Jackson, he's good. I mean, he's Samuel L. Jackson. He's gonna give it his all no matter what movie he's in, whether he goes over the top or he's very subtle about it. And he has one unintentionally funny moment that is very quintessential Samuel L. Jackson. Eh? You wanna play games, motherfucker? Because you know one of the iconic quotes in the series is, I wanna play a game, huh? And just hearing Sam Jackson say that combined with motherfucker is funny. And then the stuff that you come to expect from one of these movies is very well done. The traps are inventive, they're gory, they make you squirm. I mean, it's very much torture porn. And I guess it can be impressive, but I don't know if it's really enjoyable. I mean, it does what a horror movie effectively should do, and that's make you squirm with the violence. But some of the traps that this copycat killer does are a little goofy, and I'm like, Really? Like, that's not making me squirm as much as it's making me laugh. So I take back what I said about there aren't any unintentionally funny moments. There are some unintentionally funny moments, especially with the way it ends, because throughout a lot of this movie, I didn't know what to make of it, because there were parts where I was bored, there were parts where I was actually invested in the story and the mystery and wanted to see how it played out, but by the time we got to the end and the very last shot of the film, I'm like, really? That's how we're ending this. <sighs> okay, I know how I ultimately feel about this movie then. Watch at your own risk, and I'm not enthusiastic about this rating at all. If you've been a fan of the Saw series since day one, I'm not the person to say you probably will like this, because again, only saw one movie, but I feel like there's something you could get out of this one. But if you're looking at this as a newcomer and you're thinking, Oh, Chris Rock and Samuel Jackson. This possibly could be something better than the previous films. This isn't gonna do it for you. This isn't like the 2018 Halloween movie where they had some people who were well-versed in comedy working on it and they actually brought a fresh new take on the series. Not that fresh, but something to where, yeah, this sticks out from the previous films in the best way possible. This movie just kind of fits in with the crowd, uh, and I can't really recommend it to people who aren't familiar with the Saw movies. And there you go, that's my review for Spiral. I hope you enjoyed it, and now I want to know what you guys think about the movie. If you've seen it, what did you think? If you have seen the other Saw movies, how does this compare to the other films? Uh, is this among the better ones, or is this among one of the worst? Whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, this is The Real Mr. Robinson telling you there is only one. Hello everyone, I just want to say thank you all for watching my review for Spiral. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell button down below. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, go check out my Twitch channel, and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, have a good day, and take care of yourselves.